There are two different approaches to business in general. One is the entrepreneurial approach, the other is the artistic approach. Hi, this is Mark Silver with Heart of Business, and I want to talk about balancing these two approaches and finding a middle way. And it's kind of important to understand these two things because it's a way to see yourself and your business more clearly. So with broad strokes, the entrepreneurial approach is to look out into the world, see a problem, and solve it with a product or a service and to build a business around that. It's looking out and fixing something that you see that you can fix. The artistic approach is when you have something in you that wants to be expressed. A lot of artists will just have something in them that just wants to be expressed. They want to do it a certain way. They want to speak what's true. They don't want to um, have filters. They don't want to have other considerations that will censor them. The entrepreneurial approach runs the risk of disconnecting the business owner from their heart of just being about the money or just being about what the client or the customer wants about chasing the problem and really losing connection with what's their deepest desires. The artistic approach runs the risk of creating something that's very true and beautiful from one's heart without any connection to an audience, without any consideration of how or if someone would want what you're creating. In Sufism, my teachers talk a lot about the middle way, that the extremes uh, tend to leave us in a painful place. An example of this is when we talk about fear. If you have no fear, you can be heedless and you can fall off a cliff edge, you can get hurt uh, very easily because you're not being cautious. Too much fear, an extreme amount of fear, leaves you paralyzed, unable to do anything because you're so worried about something bad happening. The middle way balances a healthy amount of fear and awareness and caution with a willingness to take some risks and to step out and engage in the world. This middle way this alchemical mixing of extremes to find a middle path that is rarely a straight line, often swings a bit between the two, is something that I want to encourage you to bring to these two uh, approaches to business. If you find that you tend to be more of the entrepreneurial kind of person, where it's like, what does the client want? I want to give them what they want. I want to provide the solution, I want to fix it, I want to get make something that sells. I want to suggest that you may actually be missing out on long-term relationships, you may be missing out on genuine connections and repeat business, and your business may actually be struggling because it's too much about the customer and not enough about what's true for you. Because if you bring out what's true for you, if you allow yourself to express your heart, and connect it to wanting to help people. It's very, very powerful because then people know who they're connecting to, they can learn to trust you, and uh, you begin to connect with people that are yours to connect with, that there's a natural match rather than trying to serve people that maybe there's not going to be any connection there. If you find yourself more on the artistic side of things, where you know that you have to be free to express yourself, I want to suggest to you that no, you don't want to give up that connection to your heart and no, you don't want to sell out or compromise your vision and your values. However, it is possible to include consideration of what kind of audiences would want this? Who are the people that I want to meet? What are what are their needs and desires and how does what I say, how does what I'm expressing and offering, how does that match up? How can that connect with them in a way that really serves us both? And there are ways to tweak one's artistic 
expression that doesn't compromise it and still allows the business to thrive because you're connecting with someone. So I want to just pose this question for you. Do you fall more on the entrepreneurial side of chasing the customer or the client, trying to make something that's going to sell and forgetting about your own heart and your own expression? Or do you find yourself really attached to expressing things in a particular way and losing track of who you might be speaking to and who you might be offering to? Just let that simmer in your heart and see if you can find a middle way. If you took just a couple of minutes with this, I'm so curious what comes up for you. What kind of changes might happen in your business if you discover that you're leaning too extremely to one or the other? All right, thanks. Best to you and your business.